Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back. I am John from the Beard Bros, and today is truly something different for the Beard Bros. For the first time ever, ever saying that. Completely different now. So, guys, today is our first, probably one of our first forays to food, and today I'm going to be looking at the new Domino's vegan releases for veganuary what domino's have done is they have released a lovely new pizza for veganuary they've released vegan nuggets for veganuary i've seen these i am partaking in veganuary because i generally eat quite sort of plant-based stuff anyway like i've been fully vegan before when i didn't really you know agree with it completely i felt like i was eating a lot of shit a bit fussy with some stuff so yeah anyway i digress um so i seen these I'm doing vegan i thought why the f not put it in a video for all you lovely people out there so i have the vegan nuggets as you can see right here so there are seven nuggets in the box right there. <laughs> and they are cost five pound 99 for those seven nuggets the pizza itself Oh, just to mention, vegan nuggets do come with their own version of the garlic and herb dip. But as you can see there, this is the vegan version of the garlic and herb dip. And as I'm one of the few people on earth who doesn't like the garlic and herb dip from Darbanos, I'm not going to be trying this. So, we also have the pizza. This is the vegan pizza. This is the chick ain't, as they call it. This it is, it kind of varies. So this one I have is the medium with the classic crust, which is 17 99 which standard toppings are red peppers onions and the marinated soy pieces of the chick ain't in this case just as i mentioned just a minute ago i'm a fussy eater at times and one of my pet peeves is onions so i got rid of the onions and i've gone instead to the other pet peeve in most people which is mushrooms so i've got mushrooms on the pizza instead of onions so this isn't bang as you would get it anyway but yeah this is the medium in the classic crust if you want a large, you only can have it in the Italian crust, which is just, yeah, just not my street. Prefer the classic crust. So I've gone for the medium here, especially having the nuggets as well. But this pizza, as I said, is $17.99. If you want to go for the large Italian crust version, that is $19.99. But of course, this is dominant, so there's always offers on. So I think I spent in total for these two and another medium pizza and a box of chicken wings and some wedges was about 30 quid so not too bad you know i think that was a 40 percent off deal something like that oh just to mention the pizza also comes with the same garlic and herb vegan dip as the wag uh, the nuggets do and so as i said i'm not eating that so instead i've got some lovely frank's ride hot sauce from the wings which was well appreciated and i've also got some barbecue sauce as well which came with the wedges so that's what i'll be trying them with so let's uh let's have let's go for the nuggies first is it so folks that's our nuggets but standard nuggets looking look like there's a little bit of like pepper or something in that crumb lovely job of those don't think there's any kind of spice into them i think they're quite just plain bread in it's all good rather than do plain bread in than do a bad spicy bread in so that's good i'm going to try this on its own first just to see how it goes so i would say at this point as i'm used to the drinks videos i would say ching ching but can't really say that because I'm not chinging anything. So uh, I don't know. Bon appetit, brotherhood. Tell you what, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. They are. They're not chicken. You know they're not chicken. But these are probably some of the nicer chicken nugget style products that I've had. To be fair. So in my kind of comparison in my head, I've got like the Linda McCartney chicken nuggets, which are about the best ones I think I've tried. Besides that, oh no, tell like the Morrison's chicken tenders and they are the the vegan versions of those they're pretty damn good as well those two are both pretty good but these aren't bad at all there's a nice bit of seasoning to them it's like there's a little bit of a little bit of peppery to them just a little bit not too heavily seasoned but they're quite nice actually so um yeah not well, good job domino now what i'm gonna do folks is i'm gonna take one of the nerds and i'm gonna dip it so i've got my two dipping sauces of choice i've got my red hot franks which you can see by here and the barbecue Standard barbecue. I'm not a big fan of the Domino's barbecue sauce. It's a bit, I don't know, there's a bit of an odd taste to it. I don't know if that's just me, but it's not quite as nice as some other barbecue sauces, but hey ho, it'll do. Frank's Red Hot, when you receive it from Domino's, is always a treat. So let's give it a little, a little dip, dip a roo. I'm gonna go for the barbecue first. 
Not bad, not bad with the barbecue. Now for the Frank's Red Hot. That's the winner in my book. Definitely go for the Frank's Red Hot if you can. But again, if you like those, uh, the garlic and herb dips, try one of them. Be pretty good, but yeah, good job. And those Domino's Fair Play for what they are. Six quid is a little expensive when you, well, I say this, it's pretty standard price, isn't it? Pretty standard for any of the chicken products in Domino's. So it's not too bad on a price. However, it is still a takeaway. So it is still, you know, expensive compared to your supermarket vegan chicken substitute tender nugget thing. <laughs> So, not bad at all that one. I'm gonna move these dip. Now folks, one to the main event. One thing to note, good to see that they uh, mark up their products properly for their allergens. Someone with a uh, hospitality background, it's always nice that they, you know, they've clearly taken the effort to mark it out. Who knows they follow through with it properly, but you know, it's a good show. Could be a case someone is doing this for their, uh, you know, for their dietary reasons, why they're being a vegan. So, what we have is, I guess, like to show you lovely people. Oh baby. So there we have it. So you've got red and green peppers as standard. Honestly, with this one, there's a bit too much green peppers for my liking, but uh, hey, ho, I know what it's always like. You always get more green than you them red. We have the mushrooms that I ordered. This would normally be onions. And we also have the soy chicken. I think it's just a marinated soy this. So give it a try on and see what it tastes like, is it? Yeah, pretty standard. Soy chicken replacement. Not the best on its own, but do a turn. I'm quite sure the marinade on that is. I don't think there's much of a marinade on it at all. It's a lot of lot of soy taste of that. But yeah, I'm just gonna uh, give us a bite and see if I can get a bit, if I can move some of this here and try to get a bite of a bit of everything. Obviously you've got the vegan cheese substitute on this as well, rather than the standard mozzarella cheese. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it tastes, shall we brotherhood? Bon appetit. I'd be conscious not to eat into the microphone. <laughs> just cause we're not on the ASMR channel yet. So don't want to, uh, you know, gotta say, first impression, this is not bad. Not bad at all. So, start with the crust. Crust is standard Domino's crust. If you like the, the Domino's standard pizzas, whatever, you will like this crust. There's no difference to the crust. The soy chicken replacement, it's not the best. It's not a very, very good kind of chicken replacement to it, in all honesty. But it does a job on this. It is quite inoffensive. It doesn't add a lot of any kind of flavor to it. It's just more of a textury kind of thing. But it's not, it's not like it's not the best, but on the on the whole pizza, it works quite well. Vegan cheese on here. I'm, I'm just gonna say it because vegan cheese does not compare to normal cheese. Everyone knows that. However, this is one of the best vegan cheeses that I've tried on a pizza anyway. You know, most of the time, on these pizzas, they go a bit too far the other way and they become a bit too overpoweringly. That, like that vegan cheesy taste, which nothing against the vegan cheese, it's just, it's a completely different taste to a standard cheese. So, as I said, it's on here. It's probably one of the better ones, to be frank. It is, as I say, it's probably one of the better vegan cheeses on a pizza as a, as an omnivore, rather than a, a vegan full time. It doesn't compare to a normal Domino's pizza in terms of the cheese on it. However, it does a good job. So, back is a plus for me. Fair play to them, they've done a pretty good job on these, pretty good job. As I said, 17 99 for the medium, 19 99 for the large, so it's not too bad. Again, standard prices. So on price-wise, you're talking, you're kind of on a par with most of the kind of more premium-y topping pizzas, like kind of your meat feasts, your veggie volcanoes, that kind of stuff. The, the more expensive versions. You're on a par with those in terms of the pricing, so it's not overly expensive for Domino's, but again, it is Domino's, so it is quite expensive, but not bad at all. Would I have it again? Yeah, if I, you know, if I if I stick with the uh, the vegan diet moving forward, or if I was to become a vegan full-time moving forward, and I did decide that this would be what I might want, I would happily add this again. I think they've done a good job with it. Could they improve it? Absolutely they could, but on the whole, not bad at all. So there we have it, folks. That is my impressions of Domino's vegan nuggets and the vegan chicken pizza from Domino's. Thank you very much for watching if you got this far. If you give us a like on the video, that'd be very much appreciated as always. And if you are new here, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would again be very much appreciated when we're doing more of this kind of stuff moving forward. So that'd be fantastic. And if you subscribe to the channel, there's one key action that you need to do, and that is you need to hit that bell, baby. Get those notifications for when we release new videos. So thanks again, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.